well, it's certainly one we um, we're in a chance to win. Or we're ten points up with three and a half minutes to go, and you know we shouldn't have really lost from that point on. You know, kicked two goals nine the last quarter. Um, you know, we should have been a bit further in front. There's no doubt about that. But even then, you sort of th three minutes thirty to go, we're uh, ten points up, and you know just a couple of basic errors that we that we should be better at and they were able to score two quick goals and, and win the game. So, yeah, that was the disappointing part. Obviously, players don't deliberately miss shots on goal, but it's a bit frustrating that it seems to be a bit of a recurring part of the season. Yeah, yeah, it sure is. Yeah, it's been something that um, has really... We've worked at it all year, but it's, you know, it's been an issue for us most of the year. And, you know, if you work so hard to, to get it in position to have a shot at goal, and uh, continually miss it does. You know, it is frustrating, but you know, I thought for three quarters there was there were some reasonable signs. In the last quarter, he just come out and kick two goals nine. So you know, it's probably hard to explain under maybe a bit of fatigue in the last quarter. What were you feeling when Adam had that last shot? Were you confident he would kick it or hopeful, or how were you sort of? Thinking? Oh, probably hopeful because it was. I, think I was just thought he had an enormous game, Goodsy. I thought he was. You know, he really worked worked hard and it was a bit unfair on him I think missing that missing that last one considering the work rate he put in for the entire game I thought he had a real go. As you mentioned he was unbelievable and he's an experienced player. Do you, do you go and talk to him now or you just let him go away and, and get over it himself? How do you sort of deal with someone that, that's happened you know, that's happened to them? I'll have a chat to him after this but you know he's he's played a lot of footy goodsy and um, you know I'm sure he I'm sure he'll be okay. I mean I spoke to the players briefly after the game and said it was you know it was a bit unfair on Goodsey probably that he had to miss that goal for us to be a chance of winning because he you know he did play so well. Um, probably missed a couple of others running into goals he could have kicked as well. Where does this put you now? Where do you assess yourself in terms of the season before? Oh well, obviously we've got to keep winning. We're going to win. <clears throat> And we play the Tigers down here again next week, and you know it's a, it is a big game for us now. It's um, you know you, you put yourself in a position to win the game tonight. And we didn't win it, and we've got to win next week. So you know that's pretty clear where it sits. Is the home final still on, on the radar? Oh, I'm not, to be honest, I, <laughs> no, it wasn't. It's the furthest thing from my mind at the moment. Just trying to just make sure we win next week. When you say simple errors in that last three and a half minutes, you're talking skill errors, was it? Structural errors, what was it? No, it was probably a combination of decision making and skill errors that we're normally pretty good at in that in those periods of the game and which I think we've shown at different times in the close games this year we've been pretty good at, but probably a combination of decision making and and, and skill errors that probably just let them in, you know, ten points up. That's a Sydney trademark, isn't it? When you when you have got the lead, you know, you guys close it down and you're really good. Yeah. With, with, and that's a particular skill to close out a close game. It was very unsydney like to let it slip. Wasn't it? Well, I think we've done it pretty well most of the year, to be honest. The real close game. So, um, you know, it's just, you know, it didn't didn't happen today. But you know, two goals nine, it's does kill you in the last quarter. Mm -hmm. Was that? I mean, we all know how good a player Adam is. Was that even above some of the stuff he did tonight? Yeah. Just the, the way he, whenever <clears> the game was in the balance, he seemed to take it by the scruff of the neck. Mm -hmm. just, you know. Well, I thought his last game against the Bulldogs, um, it was as good a four-quarter game as I've seen him play for a while. And and I thought tonight, whether he was forward or, or midfield, was you know he was able to impose himself on the contest at at all times. Um, you know, I think there's him and a few others. We probably didn't have enough though. We didn't have enough. And we talk about weight of numbers and making sure that there's more players rowing the boat. We probably didn't have enough in the end. That. Um, you know, made it so close in in the last five minutes. Did you get any injuries? Not that I know of. Not that I know of. No. Just a comment on Sam Reid. Just every time we see him, he just seems to get that little bit better. And he was again, you know, pretty yeah. dangerous again tonight. Yeah, he was. He's a you know, 19-year-old kid playing centre half forward. It's not a bad, not a bad effort. What he's been able to do this year, and we expect him to finish off the year strongly. And you know, he's he's improving all the time. I'm sure after another summer and more development with his natural growth and skills, he'll he'll be even better. It's exciting for us to to have a player like that coming through, and you know we're really looking forward to his continued development.
not only in the future but the rest of the year, he's, he can he can play the kid. And that was a pretty poor situation, but just with Jared having to pull out the situations surrounding him, you know, you know hearts will be going out to him. He's obviously going through a very tough time. <clears throat> yeah, he is. He's going through a tough time, and um, you know it's a it's a challenge challenge for him. We support him. Um, you know, he's obviously a key member of our footy club, and hope everything works out for the best. Fingers are crossed. Okay. <clears throat> All right.